the Indian Air Force is the largest operator of the helicopter fleet in India. We have over 500 plus helicopters and 36 units. Let me put it in perspective, I have just 31 fighter squadrons and 36 helicopter units. So you can make out where we are in this particular niche segment of air projection. Uh, we have 12 types of helicopters operating today. Some of them from 1965 vintage to some of them as the very latest. In addition to these 12 types, we are about 5 odd aircraft which are to be inducted in the next 1 to 3 years time. And therefore, I must tell you that we have been blessed in the Indian Air Force to have a number and variety of uh, helicopter with a wide spectrum of capabilities able to operate from any terrain under any conditions day and night and in all weather. That's a capability which is built up by the lot of effort and hard work, the lot of sweat and blood of all the people here in this audience and those who are not here. I think it's been a wonderful achievement on the part of our helicopter fleet, INV. Uh, the helicopter fleet, especially when looked from the perspective of the fixed wing fleet which exists today. Uh, the helicopters in the Indian Air Force have been used on a plethora of roles, right from air maintenance to the Indian Navy, Army which is operating in some of the highest uh, terrains in the world where human beings can exist safely. We have been uh, operating as uh, brought out just before earlier in the flood operations in Kerala. In every operation which requires vertical lift, the Indian Air Force has put its foot in and has operated safely and with a lot of dedication and uh, effort. Uh, the helicopter fleet has uh, since 2009 also been supporting the Central Armed Police Forces in anti light operations and has uh, been transporting men and material as required, CASIVAC, all the roles which are required for us to do safely. Our helicopter operations have not been restricted to India alone. We have contributed significantly to United Nations, effort, United Nations requirements in the past and we will continue to do so in future as and when called upon. Uh, I will now briefly touch upon the future acquisitions in the helicopter fleet which are in my domain of expertise. In the light segment, we are in the process of uh, replacing the Cheetah, Cheetah, the Cheetah is coming in by the induction of the Kamov 226. 60 of them would be ordered shortly. Uh, that's the, as far as the light segment goes. In addition to this, we are fully supporting HAL in the light utility helicopter segment. And as and when that aircraft has completed its flight test and is ready, we will be placing an order for them. As far as the attack segment goes, we have uh, Apaches being inducted shortly in the next one year, followed by which the LCH, we already placed an order for 15 of them. As and when they are ready, they will be inducted. And we see a major growth path in the attack segment as we face out our MI 25 and 35, which will leave us in the next three to five years. In the medium lift segment, I'm proud to tell you that we are doing exceedingly well. We have the Mi 17s, the Mi 17 1 Vs, both of which are being upgraded, 100 of them. We also have the MI-17 V5, which is a very versatile platform. We got about 136 of them flying today. We'll be getting in another 48 more in the near future. All in all, very highly capable, fully capable of operating in the entire spectrum of vertical lift. The heavy lift category of which we have uh, just a few helicopters of the MI-26 variety are now going to be supplemented by the Chinooks. We expect them to come in from March 2019. Uh, we'll have 15 of them coming in, and it will give us a great uh, capability in the heavy lift segment. 
Uh, this is a brief overview of what we are doing in these various segments. Great uh, achievements, good news, and the future is very bright. Looking at uh, what uh, we should be striving to, I think General Anwar uh, uh, very correctly put it where exactly the focus lies. We are looking for speed, we are looking for range, we are looking for agility and endurance. At the same time, we are looking for safety. Our operations have been to a large extent in the rotary wing domain, VFR to near IFR. In future, we are looking for a capability which allows us proper IFR flying in clouds in the weather which we have over the Indian subcontinent to a large extent. That's the capability which we should be focusing on in the future. Uh, I'm confident all these technologies that are being developed, both in terms of tilt rotor and the other developments which are taking in this amazing field, will all come together very shortly and we will be able to achieve far more than what we are capable today. The at the end, I would once again like to thank the Rotary Wing Society of India for having me here on stage this morning. Thank you. Jain.